promised. Promised what? You promised you were going to read me a story. What about your promises? You were supposed to feed my dog tonight. I forgot. Well, you can help. Go tell him to stop kicking on the door. Stop no! kicking on the door. And stop ringing the doorbell. My name is Sally. I'll be your waitress tonight. Get your feet off the table and stop talking on that cell phone. What are you watching, Big Brother? I'm watching a program that's supposed to make you a better person. It's not working, is it? Well, you promised. Promised what? You promised you'd read me a book or a story or something every night. I don't remember. Well, you did. You promised. How about you? You promised to stop moving things into my room every time I leave the house. That's different. I don't think it's different. Well, are you going to read me a story? You can read. Why don't you read it yourself? I can't find my glasses. You don't wear glasses. If I did, I wouldn't be able to find them. Anyway, reading is too hard for me. Reading is easy. You just look at the words and turn the pages. I hate turning the pages. OK, OK. I'll go get us a book. You wanted me to read to you. This is a good program. It's supposed to make you a better person. Forget it. You wanted me to read to you, and I'm going to read to you. Here, what shall we read? War and Peace or The Pied Piper? Okay, read me the Pied Piper. All right, turn off the TV and I'll read you the story. It starts in a little town called Hamlin, and it was being overrun by rats. It says they fought the dogs and killed the cats. That does it. I don't want to hear about rats. Mice are all right. I can take mice, but not rats. All right, then. How about this? Let's say there was another little village. Something like where we live. So there was this town. Not too big a town. And the people and all the kids were just like us. And just like the village of Hamlin, it was overrun by mice. Sports mice.
think we buy gowns lined with ermine for dolts that can't or won't determine what's best to rid us of our vermin? <laughs> to find the remedy we're lacking. For sure as fate, we'll send you packing. We must solve this problem or lose not only the town, but our families too. <laughs> Honor, Mayor, would you please Just open the door? Mayor, we've got this door, door open. Mayor, would you let us in. Open we the can't door. take any we more have a mice. Situation here. Mayor, mice. These mice are destroying our peace of mind. Yes, we, we must, must act. act. What, what shall, shall we do? We must think of something. <laughs> Ma'am, I would like to see the mayor, please. Do you have an appointment? Of course not. You're just a kid. Worse than that, you're a little kid. Why don't you come back when you're 50 years old? Hmm? We can't get in to see the mayor. We'll just have to try again. You kids again? What do you kids want? Like I said before, ma'am, I sure would like to see the mayor. You can't see him now. He's busy. He's having a press conference. Come on, Mayor. Tell us what you're going to do about all these mice. Say something stupid, and we'll get it on the network tonight. Go out! Ah! Ah! All of you, get out! I wish I were a mile hence. <laughs> Who for a trap, a trap, a trap? Who left the door open? Who, who let these kids in here? There's mice all over my office playing football, and I've got kids, too. If you'll listen to Charlie Brown, Mr. Mayor, you won't have to worry about mice. Well, what does he know? Does he know the Pied Piper or somebody like him? That's what I need. Whatever happened to the Pied Piper I used to read about? Mr. Mayor, I know just the one. The Pied Piper. He can rid you of these pesky sports mice. But he won't use a pipe, though. If you can do it, kid, we'll give you anything you want. Ha ha ha! There, sis! There, sis! Stand fast, Mayor. Help is here. Here's the person who will save the day. Here you are, Mr. Mayor. He's come to rid the village of all the sports mice. Is this the Piper? I quote from the book. Please, your honors, he is able by means of a secret charm to draw all creatures living beneath the sun that creep or swim or fly or run. Golly, if that be so, if he can rid the town of all these mice... He can and will get rid of all the sports mice for you. But you have to pay him something handsome. Anything, anything. If he gets rid of all these mice, we'll give him anything. Give, give him, him double, double, triple. First, Mr. Mayor, we'd like to have you sign this contract. Sign it. Yes. Sign anything. Uh, of course, of course. This will be your promise to deliver a year's supply of dog food to the Pied Piper. Of course, of course. I've signed it.
get long poles. Pike out the nests and block the holes. Consult with carpenters and builders and leave in our town not even a trace of the mice. What's all Snoopy up to, Charlie Brown? Snoopy is organizing enough help to assist in picking up his earnings. Earnings? Yep, a whole year's supply of dog food. Okay, Snoopy and I will go in and get all the dog food. You all wait for us. There you are, Mr. Mayor. All the mice are gone, just like we told you. So? So he wants his dog food. <laughs> Remember? You promised him a year's supply of dog food. I did? <laughs> did I say that? What's this? The contract. Remember, you signed the contract. I did? Hmm, let me see. Well, this isn't a contract. It's just some childish scribbling. I wrote it the best I could. Look. It was never notarized. See, see, the governor, the governor never signed it. Nor the senator, nor the chief justice. It's just childish scribbling. We had an agreement. You signed the contract. You promised him a year's supply of dog food. I did? Did I say that? Do any of you remember uh, me saying that? No, 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 you no, never no. said that, Mr. Mayor, never. <laughs> <laughs> what? To pay all this food to a solitary dog? <laughs> <laughs> a solitary dog. Besides, our business was done at the edge of town. When the mice all disappeared, we saw the vermin flee. Oh, dear friend, we're not the folks to shrink from the duty of giving you a generous reward. He wants some dog food? Here's some dog food. But as for all the dog food, all we spoke of that, as you very well know, was a joke. Besides, our losses have made us thrifty. A year's supply of dog food. Come, take this bone. No trifling, please. A promise is a promise. And folks who try to weasel out may find his instrument used in another fashion. How? Do ye think I'll brook being worse treated than a cook? Insulted by a lazy ribald with a squeeze box? You threaten us, fellow? Do your worst! Squeeze your box there till you burst! <laughs> 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 that does it, boys! No more sports mice running all over the place, and it didn't cost us a thing! <laughs> Pie Piper! <laughs> Pie Piper! <laughs>
Not the river, but the stream. Where I first, not last, but first met you. Not me, but you. With your eyes, not your nose, not your eyes of blue. Not green, but blue. Dressed in gingham, not gay, but gingham too. Not three, but two. It was there, not here, but there. I knew, not old, but new. Had you loved, not liked, but loved me true. You were sixteen, you were sixteen, my village queen, my village queen, down by the And so the Pied Piper, playing the old songs, led the mayor and his council off through the town and out the edge of town into the distance. And then the town was peaceful again. All the sports mice were gone, and that stupid old mayor and his council were all gone too. And everything was just fine. Huh, I don't know. I can't believe anything like that would ever happen. But don't you understand the moral? What moral? It was all about promises. Promises are promises. Well, maybe you're right, but I still can't believe anything like that would ever happen. Stupid dog, stop playing the 